End it now. Charlottesville SDA host March Against Violence. Lakato SDA Church Health Fair. And evangelistic series Understanding the Times. Good evening and welcome. I am Natalia Nances and this is your Adventist Information Network News for Thursday, November 28th, 2024. Now to our top story. In response to the rising crime situation on the island of Tobago, where 25 murders have been recorded this year, including two of which took place on the eastern side of the island, the Charlottesville Seventh-day Adventist Church took to the streets to show their support to end violence now. The church's personal ministries organized a public demonstration to show their support for ending violence and to advocate for peace within the communities of Tobago. Here is more. End It Now March Against Violence was boldly displayed on a banner as the Charlottesville SDA Church members, accompanied by the Pathfinder Marching Band, made their way through the streets of Charlottesville. The march began at Fort Campbellton and proceeded through the streets of Charlottesville, concluding at the Charlottesville Bandstand. The first stop was at the main entrance to Charlottesville, where Pastor Leslie Butcher delivered a brief sermon and led a prayer. With placards advocating for an end to violence, the members continued to the next stop in front of the gas station. There, Pastor Ian Kirk shared another sermon, followed by a prayer from one of the church members. The march progressed through the streets of Charlottesville and culminated at the bandstand with a vibrant open-air program. This included praise and worship, heartfelt testimony, and a gospel explosion that brought the event to a close. The event served as a powerful call to action against violence and a celebration of faith and community resilience. Biana Bubna, AIN News. The Lakato Seventh-day Adventist Church brought the community together for a vibrant and impactful health fair at the Lakato Community Center. The event featured a wide range of activities and resources aimed at promoting physical, mental, and spiritual well-being, showcasing the church's commitment to holistic health and community support. The Franklin Methodist Church Kampong was a hub of activities as a health fair was hosted by the Lescato SDA Church in collaboration with local healthcare providers. The event aimed to promote wellness and provide residents with free access to essential healthcare services. The health fair drew attendees from Lescato and nearby villages offering free health screenings, educational seminars, and wellness activities for all ages. Visitors benefited from visitors benefited from screening for blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, along with consultation on mental health, nutrition, and chronic disease management. One participant, Macalista Grant, hailing from Lescato Village, shared his experience at the health fair. Come on, events to bring out the young people because pressure is something that does creep up on us and we don't even know we have it. So I enjoy the day and I enjoy every little moment. I enjoy the doctors speaking. I enjoy what they talk about. Our, our, our health is important. Health is better than wealth. If we have no health, we cannot have no wealth. And I learn many things I have to drop off if I need my cholesterol to go down or my pressure to go down and things today was very productive. Sharon Karuta, a dedicated member of the Lescato SDA Church, shared her gratitude for participating in the health fair. She highlighted the valuable insight she gained from the doctor's advice, emphasizing how the experience deepened her understanding of health and wellness. Very interesting. I wish we could have some more of that coming soon very informative we need more of that in the community to take more care of myself i love this service it's, as i said interesting and i learned a lot i need to do some checks on myself you know and i get to know more of, my, of myself by coming out and it was a one-on-one -on -one conversation the doctors and myself so very interesting i love it love it really really love it the Lescato SDA Church plans to build on the success of this health fair with future initiatives aimed at fostering a healthier and more connected community. Piana Bretner, AIN News. 
Stay with us, we'll be right back. I am special, this is my body, you don't have the right to hurt me. I am special, this is my body, you don't have the right to hurt me. You can't break me down, you can't break me down, you can't break me down, you can't break me down. God is my helper. God is my defender. A message from the Caribbean Union Conference Children and Adolescents Ministries. Visit Terrific Ideas for that terrific idea in educational resources, arts and craft, music supplies, charts, games, flashcards, workbooks, acrylics, oil paints, sketching, painting pads, brushes, canvases, panels, craft material, music accessories, and so much more. Find us on Facebook. We're open Monday to Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or on Fridays from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Contact 639-1224. Terrific ideas for all your educational arts and craft and music supplies. Tobago Glass Supplies has been a leading name for over 37 years in the glass and aluminum market in Tobago. We provide an extensive range of high quality innovative aluminum and glass products for commercial and residential use. Competitive prices with superior and professional services by committed employees who are guided by rigid quality standards. Tobago Glass Supplies specializes in the manufacture and installation of glass and aluminum products products that are essential to today's homeowners and the business environment. We are engaged in marketing, sales and installation of a variety of products. These ranges from windows and doors to necessities such as mirrors for homes and vehicles, designed and manufactured in-house or imported. Welcome back. The Roxborough Seventh-day Adventist Church recently celebrated its 100th anniversary under the theme, A Journey of Faith, 100 Years and Beyond. To mark this significant milestone, members from SDA congregations spanning Scarborough to Charlottesville participated in a commemorative march from Argyle to Roxborough community. The march concluded at the Sid Gray Complex, where an official ceremony took place. Throughout the event, speakers paid tribute to the pioneers of the Roxburgh Church, highlighting their lasting relevance and impact on the community. Among the speakers was Assemblyman Watson Duke, a long-standing member of the Roxborough Seventh-day Adventist Church. Reflecting on his journey, Duke recalled being questioned about his leadership abilities and attributed his foundation to the principles instilled in him by the Church. He emphasized that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is designed to cultivate better leaders. Also present were ACP Collis Hazel, Chief Secretary Fali Augustine, and MP for Tobago East, Ayanna Webster Roy. Chief Secretary Augustine himself, a member of the SDA Church, commended the faith and dedication of the Church's founders. In his remarks, he encouraged the congregation to remain steadfast in their faith and pledged his continued support for the Church's endeavors. Switching gears to some evangelistic news. Understanding the Times was the resounding theme as evangelist Roger Allen led a four-week evangelistic series bringing powerful messages of hope, renewal, and spiritual awakening. With hearts opened and minds eager, attendees gathered nightly to explore profound truths and discover God's guidance for navigating these challenging times. This life-changing crusade united the community in worship, prayer, and reflection, sparking a renewed sense of purpose and faith in all who attended. Here is more. 
the Southwest District 1 recently hosted a four-week crusade led by evangelist Roger Allen under the team Understanding the Times. The event drew members and visitors nightly to a powerful spiritual revival. From the opening night, evangelist Allen captivated attendees with sermons like Them White Shirts, God's Remnant Church, It Shall Be Well, 1 plus 1 equals 11, while the venue thrived with praise, worship, and prayers. The crusade featured testimonies and stirring music, creating an inviting space for all, especially those seeking a deeper relationship with God. Nightly altar calls became a highlight, as well as the theme song, Come Jesus Come, with individuals committing their lives to Christ, marking a moment of new beginnings. Outreach efforts including house visits, prayer walks, and a baby dedication was also featured at the evangelistic series. The final sermon urged members and new converts, along with visitors, to have a steadfast faith, leaving an indelible mark on the community. The Southwest District one crusade ignited a spirit of revival and unity, setting the stage for continued spiritual good and gospel outreach. Biana Brebner, AIN News. And that's how we end this evening's newscast. Let's recap the headlines before we go. End it now. Charlottesville SDA hosts March Against Violence. Lakato SDA Church held fear and evangelistic series understanding the times. I am Natalia Nancis. Have a good night.